Hello, super user. So in the last lesson, we learned about how we can use the edit filter to copy and paste things really quite simply in Finale. Now we're going to do something very similar to delete any item we want to in Finale. For instance, after the last lesson, my document got quite messy. There are dynamics all over the place, articulations all over the place, and I want to get rid of them. But more specifically, I don't want to just go over the entire document and delete it. I want to delete specific parts of the music wherever I want to, and specific elements whenever I want to. Luckily, given what we've already created, this is very quick and very easy to do, and so it shouldn't take long at all, so let's get started. In Keyboard Meister, we already created this macro group and palette called Delete, and we're going to put all of our macros in here for deleting things. And we actually can have pretty much the exact same categories as up here just in delete. Now let's think about how we're going to go about deleting these elements. Well, Finale just happens to have a default tool up here in Edit, and then Clear Selected Items, and you'll notice that it's pretty much actually the exact same dialog box as the Edit Filter, which means we can reuse a lot of our code. So we can, for instance, if we wanted to delete this note but not this dynamic, we can hit None, and then type Notes and Rests, and OK, and it's deleted. Really cool and really simple. So let's go back here, and we're going to add a new macro, and we're going to delete notes. And for simplicity's sake, we're going to make the triggers be exactly the same as they were in the edit filters. So for notes, we're going to have the trigger of F. Under new action, first we want the menu item to select the clear selected items, which is under finale, edit, and then clear selected items. Then it will bring up a screen. We're going to do several button presses. And remember the first button press is at none. Then we have notes and rests to only isolate the notes and rests. And then OK. And that should be the entire script. So now if we wanted to delete these notes, we go up here to Control X, F, and it deletes the notes. Really cool and really simple. So let's just real quickly create the edit filters for everything else. So articulations, like that, is going to be A. And this is articulations, like that. Then we had chords, which was C. And it was chords and fretboards. Ampersand this time instead of the normal written out and. Control D. Next one we had dynamics and hairpins, like that, and we use D for this. And so remember, for this we had two different things for dynamics and hairpins. We had where it had smart shape assigned to beats and expressions, dynamics, with the little bit of rejects right there. So just for simplicity, let's actually copy and paste this since we're there now, back here into delete, and then just reorder things that way it's in the right order. Now, Control D to copy again. We also had lyrics, which was W. And down here, we used lyrics. Control D to copy and duplicate it. We also had slurs, which was S. And remember, this was not just slurs, but any sort of smart shape that was attached specifically to the notes. Just like technically hairpins is any smart shape attached to the beats. And so, smart shapes assigned to notes like that. And then lastly, we had staff styles, which as you may remember was E for the shortcut, and it was just staff styles. So cool, now we can delete any element we want. So back up here, let's say we wanted to delete the slurs, command X, and then S for the slurs. What about this smart shape up here? Technically this is attached to beats, so it'll also be cleared if we clear dynamics. So D, and you can separate those out, so technically you can have both dynamics and hairpins as separate uh, macros. That way you can isolate the two, especially if you actually had a dynamic here, like Forte. As we have it right now, Command-D gets rid of both of them, but you can also separate out the two, so like Command-D does the dynamics, and maybe Command-X does the hairpins. But we can delete that. We can also delete articulations, Control-X to A at least the articulations, and we can do this actually on multiple meshes as well. 
Intral X to D deletes all the dynamics, X to S deletes all the slurs, X to A deletes all the articulations, and X to F deletes all the notes. So that was nice and easy, and that's it for this lesson. And like I said, in the next lesson, we're going to do some really cool stuff to use JW Pattern to create hairpins and slurs really quickly. I really can't wait to show you that one, so I will see you in the next lesson.